They called this home-going celebration the Flight of the Hawk. This is bigger than any fight, bigger than the Hall of Fame. This is the main event. It seemed fitting that the place where Aaron Pryor had his first professional fight would be the place where this community could say a final goodbye. Proclaimed today, October 20th, 2016, as Aaron Pryor Day in the city of Cincinnati. There were countless tributes from familiar faces. When push come to shove, Aaron was like a prodigal son to me. I don't think a, a, a month didn't go by sometimes or I wouldn't hear from him. He'd stop up and visit with me and we'd talk old times and we were closer uh, at the end like we were in the beginning. It, it was just a, an, an unbelievable career and an unbelievable scene when Aaron Pryor was coming into the ring and you knew all of Cincinnati was behind him. But outside the ring, Aaron Pryor was a father, a husband, grandfather, brother, and friend. His son, Aaron Jr., shared some private thoughts with me as he thanked the community for their support. It's an emotional day because it, um, it's his home going and, and it's his birthday. Yeah, today, Aaron would have been 61 years old. You know, among the people in the attendance was former heavyweight champ Leon Spinks and also Alexis Arguello Jr., the son of Pryor's most well-known opponent. The Pryor-Arguello fights are considered some of the greatest matches in boxing history.